first down, it's Watson. Eluding the pressure right. Is this intercepted? It is. It's intercepted. Picked up by Xavier Howard. So far this season, this defense has had their issues against the pass, so that's a great sign for them to get the early pick. Yeah, confidence builder for them and an absolute shock for the quarterback because he went into it. He saw the numbers we saw. He watched them on tape. I think he came into this one thinking this is going to be a big day, and it very well could be. But early in this one, advantage defense. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. From the gun, it's Hurts. Open man, he completes it to Judy. They get 11 back on that one, it leads to third down. So third and two, this quite possibly four down territory, though, if they're stopped. They'll try to run for it with Barkley. And Barkley did not get there. Call it no gain that time, and they're going to be left looking up at a fourth and one. All right, quick observation, Brandon, because early on in this game, I'm seeing linebackers playing with their noses close to the line of scrimmage. And my guess is the wheels are turning on that other sideline. As a play caller, you're filing that away right now, aren't you? Yeah, you're trying to find that opportunity later on when you can play action them or stick something to them between the second and the third level. And he will reach the eight-yard line before going in. Wow, first and goal, and defensively, all they can do is shake their heads. Not only did they allow the conversion, but a big play as well. They'll try and run for it with Barkley. And he will score. Touchdown, Seattle. Saquon Barkley, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Seahawks have taken a first quarter lead. In as many coaches' meetings as we sit in, we hear the word finish all the time, don't we? And on that play, the back actually finished getting into the end zone, breaking the last tackle. Tried to wrap up, tried to use the proper... Oh, and now they're going to fake it. And this is caught in the end zone. So how about that for a statement? They get two instead of one on the fake. It's an 8 nothing ball game. And that's something you almost never see nowadays. When you fake it, you're at the 15-yard line on a PAT as opposed to just going for it from the two. I'm sorry. I know they got it, and congratulations to them. But it's just not a good play. I mean, the, the risk-reward is really off the charts. Not in your favor. Run your offense out there. Put it on the two-yard line if you want to go for two. But I'll be darned. They ended up getting that one, didn't they? They're on 17 yard line. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. Not the start that they were hoping for. The interception on the first play of the game. It leads to six points the other way. How do you rebound from here? Yeah, a little bit of humor. Gotta laugh that one off and not the ha ha. That was very funny, but kind of like, can you believe that just happened? Let's go out and play now. Let's just start over. Second and four. On second down, Jacobs. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. 12 yards there and a first down. Interior of that line blocked really well on that run, but also the two tight ends, they blocked well too. Not only have they scouted the line of scrimmage, with their agility, they can get upfield and hit moving targets like linebackers, defensive backs. They do a really good job helping out the running game. Now this one to his tight end out on the right side. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down. It will. Watson. Finding Sterling Shepard for his first catch. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. Well, they had a gain of 10 last time, now a gain of 20 here. Watson off play action. And he just gets rid of it, throws it away. The wise move there, looked like nobody open, now second down. From the 34, they'll come to the line on second and 10. Running is Jacobs. And here's another tackle made at the line. So they're converging well on the football now. Back-to-back -back stops, make it third and ten. Third down. 
steps away to his left. He can run for it, and he will. Well, that was something to behold there. You might expect runs like that from a kick returner or wide receiver, but that's your quarterback hitting top speed. First and 10, and they've got three tight ends out there. A jumbo package look. Now a carry for Jacobs. And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. Ten more there and another first down. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. They'll run it with Jacobs. And he's in. Touchdown, Raiders. Josh Jacobs, his 11th touchdown of the year. And the Raiders move back within a couple of the lead. A solid blocking up front from the guys on the offensive line allowed him to get in for the touchdown. Yeah, some might say that the guys on the offensive line were in concert. I used to have a coach who called it marrying up, meaning when you get on a guy, you just stay right there. And each guy has his own assignment that allowed the runner to make the big move towards the end zone. Now Joseph tees it up to kick off, following the touchdown. Taken about seven yards deep. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. At their own 17 yard line. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And they had to wait a long time to get the football back. Probably not what you were hoping for when you got an offense at Tumman. Agreed. What you were looking for is the defense get the ball back pretty quickly, right? Hoping for a three and out. So that didn't happen. You can't yell at your D for that. They've got to take care of their own business and reestablish themselves now that they're back on the field. And that's going to be incomplete. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. They go play action with Hurts. And that's knocked away and incomplete. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage. And just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. Three and out. Fielded at the 20. A big boot that time. 57 yards, the official distance. And the Raiders will take over now first and 10. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. And it's a unit last drive that did it all on the ground, Charles. And they controlled it from the interior. Big on big, right? Offensive lineman versus defensive lineman. But you know, in order to keep the football moving downfield, other people have to get involved as well. Your wide receivers, your tight ends, lead runners, anything that you have possible to get in front and keep the ball moving. And now the defense may be looking out for a pass coming up. 15 more yards there and quickly another first down. So from Seahawk territory now, it's first and 10 at the 43. There's a throw over the middle. It's taken in by his tight end. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. It's a gain of 35. So three plays already first and goal, and they are wasting little time. A tight one. 8-7 our score after one on EA Sports. Here's Jacobs. Pushes forward for maybe three down to the six-yard line. And Brad, they went to a nickel defense, and that's a surprise this close to the goal line because ordinarily you use the back end of the end zone, the sidelines as extra defenders, and you want bigger people on the field to try to help against the run. And he gets him a little bit closer. He takes it from the six inside the five to the four. And a nice job defensively to keep him out of the end zone. He's trying to get a second touchdown already in the first half. They had that one earlier. It was bidding for a second. They'll run with Jacobs. And he'll keep working toward that end zone as he's down to about the two-yard line. Defense didn't budge on third down. Now what are we going to see on fourth? We are soon to find out. But does this feel like old-school football or what? Oh, yeah. It's an old-fashioned goal line stand. I know what I would call on offense. I would go for it. I want some type of a play where my quarterback has a chance to run it or throw it. I don't just want one static play. 
going to go down just outside of the five, right around the six-yard line. Pass rusher extraordinaire, D Ford that time, getting the sack. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. Well, they're going to have to go at least 50, 60 yards here if they want to ensure that they don't have to punt the ball like they did last time. Yeah, so what you're saying is we're not playing to just get out of the shadow of your own goal line, right? You're playing to make sure the punter doesn't see the field again. So it's not picking up a couple of first downs. You want to pick up five or six first downs and make sure you move the ball into their territory. And he stopped immediately there. No gain on that one as it brings up a third and ten. Right, let's go ahead and detail this situation here. Third and long coming up. Back near your own goal line. I would be very hesitant about throwing the football in this situation. Maybe just run, run up the middle. Yeah, I think that that might be the spot for them. you got to try and find some... Looking for Diggs, and it's intercepted. Picked by Kevin Byard. And he takes this one back into the end zone, and the Raider defense delivers a score. Those free safeties, they get to sit back there if they've got good pass rushers like this team does. Read like a book. He read it like a book and took it in for six. And if they use their eyes well and their anticipation skills, they can make big plays just as what we saw, a free safety's dream. Follow the football, go to it, and take it the other way. Here's Richie James on the return. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. After the pick six, they go right back to the air. And nearly picked off. Surprising to see a defender of his caliber let it get away, but it does get away and it's second down. The play fake. Hughes hurts. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. They have to like what they've done defensively here at the outset of this drive. They forced a couple of incomplete passes, bring up a third and ten. Don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this snap. And the Seahawks on third down. 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This is third and ten. That's caught by the big tight end, Dallas Goddard. And he is going to have a Seahawks first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That third down conversion, good for 23. On first and 10, it's Hurts. Got a man, that's Richie James. He'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. Two chunk plays in a row. The last one was over 20 yards, and so is this one. First and 10 at the 21-yard line. Play action. Here's Hertz sliding out of the pocket. And now he's going to use his legs. He'll get just a yard on the scramble. It's second down. They brought the blitz that time, and I thought they were going to get to him, but instead he flipped it on its ear and ended up picking up positive yardage. I thought he was dead to rights, but you are exactly correct, sir. Able to turn that into a positive game. He's got the first down inside the 10. And down to the seven-yard line. Sets him up nicely. First and goal. It was a pickup of 14. This is Goldberg. No dice this go around. He's hit behind the line and taken down. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. I have a feeling they'll stay committed to running the football, especially on the early downs. They just haven't had a whole lot of success just yet. Second down, here's Hurts. That is caught at the seven-yard line. And he will score. Touchdown, Seattle. Dallas Goddard, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Seahawks are now just an extra point away from moving out in front. And his kick is right through. 15. Raiders, 14. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Taken about seven yards deep. 
And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled it to 15. Well, conventional football, football 101, tells us if you don't get it back to the 20-yard line on a kickoff return, that's a disappointment. But some of these team special teams coaches, with approval by the head coach, they give them full authority to go ahead and bring it out and try to be aggressive. Almost what we call the green light, red light. He's got a man complete. And all the way down to the 42. It's a big play there for Vegas. 43 yards. Raiders. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Now a play fake, and it's Watson. Buying time to his left. And he's going to lose a yard or two. Taken down behind the line. The defense showing some anger after giving up the big play. This time they'll lose one or two. The sack cost him only a yard. It's second and 11. Another try after the first down sack. Watson got a man and he hits him in stride. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. Well, that's always a good place to throw it just because he's one of the biggest targets not only on this team but in the National Football League. And you and I both know the quarterbacks love these large body tight ends and why not? Nowadays, they're really wide receivers who are just taller and have a little bit more weight. These guys catch the football, make big plays downfield. In the old days, we wanted them to block. Now coaches want them to catch the football first. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. Back to throw. Watson. And he's got his big tight end over the middle. Complete. And he is going to have the Raiders first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Back-to-back -back receptions for him. And it's another first down. Oh, ball batted in the air. And now it's intercepted. Picked off at the 16. He's at the 40. The 20, 10, and he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Brandon, we spent time with this team before the game, and there was never any indication that they did not like their kicker. Well, it shows right now that they didn't like their kicker. Why didn't they just put it through the goalposts and take the lead? That is going to be the question that has to be answered. I don't know about you, but I'm skipping my flight. I'm going to the post-game press conference to find out what they were thinking. Instead of playing conservative, they go through the air, and what a stunning turn of events. A good hold in these wet conditions. The point after is up and good, and the lead is up to eight. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Taken in the end zone. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. 22-yard line. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. And following the pick six, and they have decent field position in throwing that pick six. We'll see how they attack this run. And I think all you say to your guy is, listen, let's just take care of the football a little bit better. Make some better decisions on this drive, and they'll probably help him a little bit with maybe some really high percentage throws early to let him get settled back yeah, in. They told, him, they told us they've got confidence. That, that's not a problem. Yeah, not a problem at all. They just want to make sure they get things settled down a little bit for their offense and give their defense a little bit of a chance to rest. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. From the 47, it's second and five. From the gun, here's Watson. And he's just going to get rid of this thing. To no one here, he throws it away. And now it's third. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. Pressure, and he's going to be taken down. They sack him back right around the 44. Now the Seahawks call the second of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. And the 
kicks away as he angles this one for the sideline. And this will be out of bounds at the what here? The 12-yard line. At their own 12-yard line. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. And an anxious moment or two there, but they do get him down. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. Although his reputation as a speedy runner precedes him, it's always fun to watch him work. It is eye-opening, isn't it? Because when you see him get the ball and just go... And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off, Byron Jones. He'll take over first and 10 at the 45-yard line. After the interception, here's Watson. He's going to fire one deep over the middle. And he will score. Touchdown, Las Vegas. Man, A big the play there in the final seconds of the first half. And the Raiders move back within a couple of the lead. And that's a terrific score. Now, what are we going to do here? Do you go for two? You know what the people at home want. Everybody wants to go for two. The analytics people probably want them to go for two. I bet they kicked the extra point. We've got a whole second half left to play. Yeah, we get a look at it here, but hey, whatever the case, big time play before the end of the second quarter. First and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. And now we'll get a late timeout as it comes in the waning moments of quarter number two. Likely time for one final snap as they start out first and ten. They'll indeed try to run it out as they start on the ground. So we've reached halftime in a wild first half. We'll take a minute to catch our breath as we'll send you back over to Orlando with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Here's Jonathan Coachman. The forecast calling for more of the same. The rain set to continue as we are underway in the second half. Takes this about five yards deep. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled at the 15. Well, conventional football, football 101, tells us if you don't get it back to the 20-yard line on a kickoff return, that's a disappointment. But some of these team special teams coaches, with approval by the head coach, they give them full authority to go ahead and bring it out and try to be aggressive. Almost what we call the green light, red light theory. Green light means go, red light means stop. Looks like he had green on that play. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. I think it's pretty evident. We can say what a difference a week makes. Last week, he ran pretty much wild, didn't he? Did pretty much what he wanted to do. But this one, they stopped him cold. That, to me, that's good scouting and even better execution. Yeah, and they stopped him behind the line right there. They obviously watched the tape a few times and made some adjustments. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. Oh, I came to my feet on that one. I thought he was getting close to breaking that one big, but in the end, give some credit to the defense, finding a way to get to him and forcing a third down. And he is going to have a Seahawks first down as they're able to convert, albeit not by much, on third and a yard. They only get two there, but on third and one, that's all they needed to keep the drive alive. A give to Barkley out of the gun. And he'll fight forward to about the 27-yard line. Damian Wilson in on the stop. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Yard line. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. Throwing right, and that's complete. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. I'll tell you, far from ideal conditions to play in, but neither offense has had much trouble. Plenty of points to go around. First and 10. A first down carry for Barkley. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half to about the 39. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. 
Now left side, a completion to his tight end. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. Getting it to him in space pays off big time. That winds up going for 31. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Now Saquon Barkley. He'll get the first down and more inside the 20. And he is in for the Seattle touchdown. Saquon Barkley. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Seahawks are able to stretch that lead out a bit further. Boy, Saquon Barkley, nothing short of electrifying with a football in his hands. And he showed off one of his biggest attributes on that one. And that is his speed. And with that, the lead is up to eight. Makes the score. Seahawks. Raiders pulling one. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. We have seen a lot of points here in this quarter. For us up here in the booth, it's been fun to watch. The defensive coordinators probably scratching their heads. Yeah, they're going a little bit crazy right now, but let's face it, all of our friends who play fantasy, <laughs> they're enjoying the heck out of this show because most of them are creating and getting a bunch of points. Yeah, points certainly not at a premium here. The big game there on the catch and run 37 yards open man is to Matt the tight end and yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard give him nine there on the first down completion off of play action it's Watson and now Watson throws another interception Picked off inside the five. I'll tell you, Brandon, it seems like this guy's been all over the field so far. That's his second interception of the game. And so much of playing defense in the NFL, especially when it comes to defending the pass, is all about positioning and technique. And this is fantastic work on both fronts there. The tackle that time by Zach Cunningham. And we sit in quarter number three out in Seattle. A second and ten now. Again, it's Barkley. And able to get it across the 10 to the 15. A gain of 13. It's a first down. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football. Sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. They'll run on first down. Barkley. And he'll be taken down but not before he gets this football out shy of the 30 to the 29. Back to back, nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. First and 10 at the 29-yard line. On first down, Barkley. And yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. Brings up second and one at the 38-yard line. Out of the shotgun, they run with Barkley. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. Two yards, good enough for a first. 40-yard line. It's Barkley. And he will be brought down at about the 43 that time. Kevin Byard up to make the tackle. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. They'll roll him out right. Throw right side complete to Williams. It's a gain of five. And just like that, it's third down. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Seahawks on third down. Two for five to this point. This time they face a third and two. 
Here's Hurts to throw. And James has it. And he's got the first down yardage there as he takes it just across midfield. And they keep those sticks moving forward that time with a gain of three. So here's a first and ten now in Raider territory at the 49-yard line. They go back to the ground now with Barkley. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Hurts. They'll set up the screen to Barkley. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves them with third and nine looming. In order for a screen pass to break big, a lot of things have to come together and be well executed. But all it takes is one small thing to go wrong and keep it from being a big game. Gets this out to Saquon Barkley. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Ten yards and a Seattle first down. Seahawks add on to their lead. Well, I tell you what, when you get a running back who can move like that in the open field, that's something to take advantage of, and they certainly did there. And the lead is up to 15 now. This will make it into the end zone. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. At their own 25-yard line. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. And the interception last time on the opponent's side of the field. Certainly not what they wanted. Put it mildly. That is so frustrating because... That signifies there's a drive going on. You're in good spot. Great place to run some of your best offense. Instead, they turn the ball over. Yeah, turn the ball over last time. See if they can avoid doing it here. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Throwing again is Watson. Space to maneuver at the 40. And he comes back with one complete. And all the way up to the 46. A gain there of 21 yards. And the Seahawk defense gets to him and they bring him down. David Onyemata coming right up the gut. Gets in there for a loss of nine. Throwing on second and long. Watson. Hit as he throws there, incomplete. We've seen this quite a few times in this game. Offensive line unable to keep leverage, unable to keep people away, facing a lot of pressure. Fortunate, fortunate just to get rid of it. One of the reasons they're down is that inability, though, to stop the pressure. We saw another example of it there. Got his man. That's Tyrell Williams. And he is going to have the Raiders first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Third and 19, no problem as they're able to convert. He's airing it out for Williams. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Eric Rowe. And he will take this all the way up past the 40-yard line. Pardon me, we always talk about possessions being at a premium in these games. And now in this situation, throwing an interception here when you have to claw your way back in, that one's going to hurt, and in a big way. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. 
He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Got to figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. Now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. 16 yards, a first down. At the 42-yard line. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. 20! And he takes it down deep into enemy territory. Yeah, we've had some great running backs in the NFL the last decade or so, and Saquon Barkley might be among the smoothest of them all. What a heck of a run right there. And Barkley will try to punch it in, and he will score. Touchdown, Seattle. Saquon Barkley taking it in. And the Seahawks find a way to stretch their lead. And that rushing touchdown, his fourth, puts him just one shy of the end. Oh, and now they're going to fake it. And would you believe it? This is caught in the end zone. And the fake extra point works to extend their lead by two. Kick this one away, and off it goes. Fields it in the middle of the end zone. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. Offense set to get this drive started. And that five-game win streak is ticking away here in the fourth quarter. Just haven't been as sharp in this one. And yeah, boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Faking the give. Now Watson. Tussle for it, and this is going to be caught. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. First down, Raiders. They'll fake the handoff. Now Watson. He's going to let it fly. And now here is another interception. Picked off by Eric Rowe. And he will take it out to the 25-yard line. It wasn't always pretty, but the interception there, that means that they should get out of here with a victory. Yeah, this is not a game that they're going to preserve for posterity on defense, but they did finish it off, did they? They did make the winning play to close things out. They'll take that one. And, hit. and he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off at the 35. When he went on the move there and started rolling out, I thought there was a window, but that window closed quickly, intercepted. And sometimes, despite how big your arm talent is, you don't get enough on a throw when you're on the move as opposed to setting your feet and stepping into one. That may have been the case there, and the defense certainly benefited. Here's Watson. A good pick up there, 26 yards. And the Raiders are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. They will run out of the gun with Jacobs. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Raider touchdown. And Josh Jacobs, his second touchdown of the game, giving him 12 on the season. And the forced turnover on defense leads to six points. And he gets halfway there down to the one-yard line. And this one travels out of bounds, so unsuccessful there on the onside kick try. Good starting field position here for the Seahawks as they come up first and 10 right at the 50-yard line. He'll buy some time right. 
And this is incomplete. And the incompletion there stops the clock. Any surprise or throwing here late? Ordinarily, yes, because you would think enough is enough. They've got plenty of lead, but I've seen this a bunch of times as well. The defense is going to crowd the line of scrimmage. If you just hand it off inside, you're getting your running back popped a lot as well. Sometimes the defense dictates it. If they're going to crowd it, you may have no other choice but to throw it downfield. Well, so far on this drive, they've done some good work. They force incompletions on first and second down, bring up third and ten. That brings up the big question. Do they bring pressure or do they play coverage on this down? The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go in the football game. The Seahawks send out their punter as he'll kick it away for the second time. And this one's high, but not very far. And a fair catch signaled for and taken at about the 18-yard line. Only 29 yards on the punt there. Definitely not his best. And control of the football, switching hands here with very little time remaining in this contest. And the first play of the drive there is incomplete. They were trying to get it there to Sterling Shepard. And now it's second down. Brings up second and ten. Throwing again. Watson. And my goodness, another interception. Picked off by the linebacker, C.J. Mosley. And they have possession, and they have it at the 38-yard line. The Seahawks take over first down. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. That one looks like he'll throw here. And this is incomplete with a clock showing just three seconds left. Oh, now look at this. They're lining up to add three more. A little insult to injury here late in the game. This officially a 55-yard attempt. And this won't get there. Won't be online either. It's no good. Off to the right. And this score will stay right where it is. A big offensive explosion help leading them to victory. And the defensive guys, they're just saying, hey, put those points up every week. We'll just keep winning. They will gratefully accept them, won't they? It makes their job that much easier when they're scoring that many points. Allows them to play with a totally different style and a different flow. So for the Seahawks, they climb back to 500 now at three up and three down. And they'll get another home date next week as the Saints will come to town. Meanwhile, for Las Vegas, they taste defeat for the first time this season as they drop to five and one. And they'll have a chance at redemption next week at home against the Indianapolis Colts. And for Charles Davis and our entire crew here at EA Sports, I'm Brandon Gordon saying so long, everybody. And he said, I got good news and I got bad news. Okay. I said, what's the good news? He said, the good news is you made a lot. Okay. I said, what's the bad news? The bad news is you spent more. Okay. okay. Look, sometimes you need the faith. Sometimes you need to know you or sometimes you need to wait. Shoot like the golden boy, but in front of the bait. You can't go 